Hello from and Ace Mojo, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about F1 2018, the game that is going to come out this year. I'm going to talk about the ideas I have myself and ideas I have seen on a forum from Codemaster, from other people because I think it has it needs to be said uh, just in this video. Um, so first of all, all I want you guys to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked this video or if you agree with these ideas I have and the ideas the other people had um, just give a, a like on this video if you just agree or like this video and uh, have further if you have further questions uh, about this video or the ideas I had and the other people just drop them in the comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to get more F1 content on the channel or to have other game news or gameplays so you wouldn't really miss any videos of me. So yeah, as that being said, so we're going to start this video uh, off with the ideas I had myself. The first idea I have is, as everyone already knows, F1 2018 will be the season where the teams introduce the Halo on their car, on their F1 car. Well, Codemasters is probably going to add this to the game. Yeah, probably, but uh, I wouldn't see anything if they are not going to add this to the game because it is in the real F1 and basically they yeah, just do everything like it is in real life. Uh, yeah, not that much, but just as close as possible. They try to add the features from the new F1 season to their game and I actually hope they are going to add this feature that I had an idea of and the idea is to have the ability in the settings to turn the um, yeah the ability to turn and the settings to turn on and off the halo on your car how would yeah how about that that would actually be a nice feature um, to have in the game to turn off and on uh, the halo on your car. If you like the halo, you would just turn it on. And if you don't hate, if you hate it and don't like the halo on your car, if it uh, yeah annoys you or something, you could have the ability to turn it off. How would that be? Uh, which actually, def I would definitely. I forgot to talk. Um, I definitely would like to have this in the game, and yeah, I think many of you guys would agree with me. Um, this is actually a nice idea I had. I also saw uh, the ID on the forum that I've been reading about, so that's actually a great thing. So let's go to the second one. Really, I want to have the VR, so virtual reality mode, in the F1 game. We had it, we've seen it in Project Cars too. We've seen the VR mode uh, in Assetto Corsa. Uh, we are playing uh, in an F1 game, but we haven't seen it in F1. The actual game, so it would actually be nice to have this in the, yeah, in the F1 game, uh, to actually get a feeling of the F1 car in a VR mode while playing the game. Um, yeah, who wouldn't, who wouldn't uh, think this would be nice? Um, and I haven't played any game in VR, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I actually would do everything to play F1 in VR, and VR mode. Uh, I mean. But yeah, and I know it's already an Assetto Corsa or Project Cars, but I I actually didn't try that out that out because first I don't have a VR VR headset or something, uh, and second I actually want to see it in the actual F1 game and then try it before I'm going to do that on Project Cars and Assetto Corsa uh, because if it is in the F1 game. That's yeah, just not going to hold me up to buy the headset and try it out because I actually love F1. You, all, you guys who've been watching uh, a really long time uh, for like a year when I started my channel. It's almost two years this year. It's going to be two years I started my channel. So yeah, if you would know, you would you guys would, would just know that F1 is a passion of me and that's why I started this channel. So that's a little thing. New guys who are watching right now wouldn't know about me. So yeah, let's get to uh, the third ID I had. Excuse me. And the third ID is after you've done the race, I would like to see a replay mode with highlights of that race. So actually, if you've done the race, you had a replay mode, so you could replay um, the whole race you've done. So the actual footage of the whole race you've done. 
So say like you've done a 50% race, you get the 50% race replay of that. But how nice would it be to have an extra replay mode where you get the ability to have only the highlights of the race. So the game basically uh, searches for the best footage of your game and chooses the best parts where something is happening or something if you crash if you overtake a car or yeah uh, losing fuel or something or have a puncture yeah something like that so you get a little highlights of the race like f1 is doing on their channel after um, say like the Australian Grand Prix from 2017 they make a highlight of what happened in that race and it would actually be nice to have this ability in the F1 game. So let's get to the fourth ID. You have already um, the ability to change your helmets in F1 2017 and 2016 um, but definitely you don't have the ability um, with decals. So what I like to see is have actual helmets with decals of the team you're driving. So say you're driving for Ferrari or Mercedes, you get the decals of Mercedes and Ferrari on your helmet and it would actually be a nice feature to have in the game. And it would also be nice if you could change your helmet more like colors, more shapes and yeah, just basically right now it's too standard. Uh, to change your helmet and I don't like it anymore um, Yeah, they added new things in F1 2017, but yeah, that's not that much. I actually would would like to see uh, more changements uh, That you would yeah that you actually would and get to do on your helmet But let's get to the last idea. I have the fifth one. Um, I want to have the classic car standard um, in every F1 game that comes out and basically, I would love to see legend legendary tracks to enter the game also because we didn't have that with F1 2017. We all hoped uh, legendary tracks would be in F1, and it was just the classic cars with the current tracks we had, like Australia, Till, Abu Dhabi, yeah, such tracks, but not like Imola or um, I think the, the track from Portugal we had in F1 2013. Yeah, we just didn't have legendary tracks and it would actually be nice if they yeah, get this feature in the game as a standard mode. Uh, because it's always like F1 2013 came out with classic cars, legendary tracks and some legendary names from champions. And then 2017 came out and you only, only had um, classic cars and uh, no legendary tracks, so I was a bit disappointed about that, but yeah So now we'll switch to the IDs I've seen from other people on the Codemasters forum uh, The link is in the description if you want to check that out uh, Just go down below the video in the description and check that out on the Codemasters forum uh, the, ac the, exactly, uh, the actual link is in the description, so don't worry about that So let's go to the first ID um, the first idea I've seen from those guys is to have a feature in the game to grow your way into the F1 world. So like saying by adding different racing categories like Formula 4, Formula 3, uh, Formula um, 2 or have a way to use go-karts or something and etc. Um, that would actually be a nice and great idea to have uh, in the game. Um, so we're actually growing a way into F1 and not just, not just starting in F1 uh, in a Ferrari or a Williams or Mercedes and etc. Uh, so let's get to the second idea I had, um, they had and that was like everyone knows F1 2011 where you had a press conference and interviews by the journalists. So yeah, what would, how, nice, how nice would it be to have the press conferences and interviews by journalists back into the game like we had with F1 2011 uh, in 2018. That would actually be a nice idea to have. Because I really liked it and yeah, it actually gave a different view on the game and it made made it more realistic and 
yeah, basically I just liked it. I, ca I can't say anything else because I like it. Uh, what other or different uh, differences to say than I like it. And yeah, maybe to add a new feature by having interviews at the Grand Prix itself or maybe outside if the driver is in free time like say on the forum there was something like say if they are in their free time on a boat say like they're driving bikes um on yeah a random random road or something with their family and interviewers come and buy or say they're walk walking in the country where the race would be like uh, at their hotel section or something that would actually be a nice feature to get to the press conferences and interviews so let's get to the third one and the third one is actually an nice ID um, an open world environment like in GTA and not to destroy the and not to destroy things I mean uh, but having the ability to walk to the pit lane to your motor home or team paddock and maybe adding journalists so you could walk to the different journalists um, so you actually could choose to which journalist you want to talk and have an interview with. So how nice would it be? Drop in the comments below if you think this ID is a nice one. And yeah, just say which ID you're talking about and then say after it your comment about it, what you think about it, uh, just in the comments below. So let's get to the fourth ID, having the ability to choose between different uh, celebration modes for when you've won a race or won the championship or if you lose a race or lost the championship. Why is this in the game already? Because who wouldn't love this? Um, so you could actually choose if you win a race, if you win the championship you have different um, celebration modes to choose from say like uh, waving with your fist up and down like most of the drivers do when they win a race say like you want to do this with your character uh, oh, how nice wouldn't this be or say like um, if you won the championship you could do something different in a celebration mode so you could choose from yeah different celebration modes um, to choose from to add to your character that is going to be if you won a championship or won a race or lost it um, so yeah it depends on what you yeah what the situation is so let's get to the next one the next one is the fifth ID remember Brazil 2016 everyone when Verstappen used different racing lines in the wet conditions and absolutely overpowered everyone that was actually a nice race to watch because it was freaking wet conditions on the Brazilian track and the only driver who used different racing lines was Verstappen I think and overpowered everyone I think uh, like that move with uh, uh, like that move on Rosberg he did on the outside line it was actually an amazing thing and a risky thing to do because he was driving on the curbs and the wide lines so he could actually have aqua plane and then smashed into uh, Rosberg's car and just have completely mess of a crash over there but it didn't happen and it actually was a nice overtake so wouldn't it be nice to have this um, yeah the, the ability to have the AI to choose different racing lines so say like the AI is using different racing lines than you so um, say like you are Rosberg in 2016 in the Brazilian Grand Prix and the AI is Max Verstappen and doing such things that would actually be a nice, a nice feature to get into the game. Yeah, I think many of you would love to see this if the AI is going to use different uh, racing lines and I know it's going to be a hard um, thing to do for uh, the game developers but yeah. I just wish for it, I'm not saying like you do a bad job or something, but yeah, we have to keep it in our minds. How about that? Let's you start made a game by yourself. It wouldn't be an easy job to do, so basically you have to get respect for the guys. If there are bugs in a game that's always been there, it's always been bugs in games. It's hateful, I know. 
and not everyone has bugs so yeah maybe it's something on your computer the settings that aren't great uh, or maybe it's actual bugs in the game but yeah come on there's ton of things you could yeah cry about or moan about but yeah I'm not going to talk about that because otherwise people would hate me for saying that um, yeah. ID7, let's get to ID7. An F1 2016 Codemaster adds formation lab to the game. And how nice would it be to have the ability after the race to have cooldown lab like the real drivers are doing after a race and driving to park for me? Yeah. Actually, this feature isn't in the game. And I'm actually asking why it isn't because they add. Formation lab, so I'm thinking why didn't they add a cooldown lab after the race and driving to park for me in the pit lane like come on Why didn't you add that that in the game? But yeah, it would actually be another feature to make it more realistic uh, the game So yeah, let's get to ID 8 um, those guys had when a car crashes the, There's obviously debris on track so wouldn't it be nice to actually see marshals go on track and remove the debris uh, from the track or maybe when a car has crashed and stays on track in a da dangerous position like there's um, say like there's uh, a yellow flag safety car and marshals get to take away the car from track and then safety car is done and the race restarts so it actually also a nice ID to add and a feature to add to the game yeah basically more realistic thing um, to make the game more realistic I actually love these IDs those guys had so a big a big thumbs up to those guys to come up with these IDs because I actually yeah didn't come up with those IDs uh, ID 9 Let's get to ID9. Another feature people and I myself like to see is winter testing. So say like before you're starting the new season like F1 2018, before the, start, the season is starting you get to test your car. So your new car and find new updates and improvements to add onto the car and basically try to improve your car and to see if everything works great or not. If there's a problem or not, so you could figure out, um, yeah, to change that or something and make your car the best to start the new F1 season. That's, oh, I'm actually asking why they didn't add to the game, come on. Like, it's in real life, why, would, why wouldn't you add this into the game? But maybe we have to think about um, those guys are actually working on such projects, but not actually adding it to the game because they're actually working it to make it perfect and then maybe when F1 2019 uh, arise and uh, those guys worked from 2012 till 2019 on the project to add uh, it's a long time I know it's just um, yeah just an example that I'm giving you guys say like 2012 till 2019 they worked on a project to add winter testing and the different categories from like Formula 4, 3 and 2 uh, to the game uh, from 2012 to, till 2019 and then adding it to the 2019 game. I think maybe this could be it that they are doing. Maybe they are actually working on projects but not adding it to the game till it's perfect enough to add it to the game. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I, yeah. If you really think about it, it it wouldn't be too far from from the ID. Um, but yeah, let's get to ID nine. Uh, I stop talking about that. We have five more to go, so it's not done yet. Um, and real life drivers, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and real life drivers get to drive out of the pit lane before the race and drive to the grid where the team then pushes their car to the correct grid position yeah come on why is this also in the in the game well i like to see this feature in the game actually 
So yeah, let's get to ID 11. We're almost there. The red flags. Why isn't there red flags in the game yet? I think it's like 2013 or 2011, 2011, 2012 or 2013 when the last red flag was in the game or maybe 2014, the last time when red flags were in the game. Actually thinking why they didn't add it in the game anymore. Um, because we actually want red flags back in the game, especially when the track is too wet to drive a uh, safety car comes out or there's a red flag because it's too dangerous or something like in real life or when there's has been a, when there has been a crash uh, so you could drive back to the current position um, uh, to the grid to your current position or yeah just go into the pit lane if uh, it depends on the situation because we've seen red flag on uh, the Grand Prix from 2017 in Azerbaijan and um, yeah, the cars actually had to go into the pits and wait there to start um, the race again. And yeah, actually thinking why they wouldn't add this into the game. It's like from F1 2015 till now, they didn't add it in the game anymore. And I'm really asking or thinking why, why they removed it from the game. But yeah. Let's get to ID12. This is a feature I wouldn't have I wouldn't have come up with, um, but it's a great idea. Um, there's already damage in the game when a driver collides with you, um, but there's no such thing as terminal damage when a car crashes into your side pods and causes terminal damage ca uh, caused by hydraulic hydraulic leaks or water leaks, etc. Um, like if you remember the race Hungary 2017 with Verstappen who crashed into Ricciardo in I think it was turn 2 or 3 when he crashed into the side pod of Ricciardo and there was um, yeah it caused some leakish or so leak it caused leaks or something in the side pods uh, I think the cooling the radiators it was uh, and it was leaking on the track, made him spawn out, and yeah, he was out of the race. So yeah, I'm actually asking why couldn't this be in the game, because that's a nice thing to add, terminal damage, uh, because right now the damage is just um, the paint going off a little bit, turning a little bit black with the stripes you get or something. But I don't think that's yeah that's enough for the game uh, to make it realistic. So let's get to ID 13, and this is the last one. This is the last ID I have, guys, um, from those guys on the forum. So it's not my ID, my my IDs. Um, the first five are my IDs, and these these ones are from the forum. And you can find the link in the description below. So ID 13, let's get to it. We all like to win championships in the game, but the only thing Codemaster didn't think about is we actually don't have a special cutscene after we win the championship. Hey, aren't we? Like, come on, why isn't this in the game? Yeah, uh, come on. This is just simple. We win the championship, and then um, they say, "Yeah, you have won the championship, and that's it." Like, come on, that isn't special enough for us. Maybe they could just add the actual video, uh, world championship trophy to it uh, in the cutscene, where uh, the people from F1 itself, the team boss, um, um, the team principal, or something, um, the F1 uh, president, or something, how we call it. Uh, Chase Carey, that guy or, or something, takes the VDC trophy to the winning driver who won the championship and yeah, just in a cutscene or something. How nice would it be to get good Chase Carey in a cutscene with his wonderful moustache. Um, yeah, I actually was disappointed to not see this into the game. Uh, so yeah, let's hope to get it into the game. Um, so we can only wish uh, for that, so... But yeah, so that was all the ideas I had to talk about to you guys. I hope, I really hope you guys like this video, and if it is so,
give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you agreed with these ideas also give a like on this video. If you have questions leave a comment below below the video and I will answer to them as fast as possible and as soon as possible I mean. Uh, and yeah always don't forget to subscribe if you want more F1 content and gameplays uh, or game news about new games coming out uh, like I did with um, the video uh, from new uh, new games coming out in 2018 so check that video I also did that for the first time because I just want to do things I like and not keeping yeah keep making videos that I actually stop liking because it's too much I just want have I want to have like some variation or something like making videos about game news making videos bait about uh, F1 content or something or gameplays yeah such things maybe other games who would know that um, so don't forget to subscribe for more F1 content gameplays or game news and yeah thanks so much for watching and as always I will see you in the next video bye bye